speaker, sub editor, and Ia and Andy India. And welcome back to Morning Bites. This podcast is presented by Published Industry India and brought to you by Star Engineers and Groom Mobility. This week's headlines focus on the business and industrial updates from India and across the globe so that you can kickstart your week. In today's episode, we talk about India's auto retail sector sees robust growth in the first half of financial year 2024. The Israel-Palestinian war raises concerns for Turkish and Russian steel exports. The global pharmaceutical packaging equipment market is is expected to grow from 2023 to 2032. And steel and cement industries in India require massive investment for net zero emissions. Before we start, we are pleased to present Dr. Anil Lamba, Chartered Accountant, Financial Literacy Activist and author of the best-selling book, Romancing the Balance Sheet. The current assets of a healthy organization should be greater than its current liabilities. However, organizations with high credibility and sterling reputations find vendors willing to offer longer credit terms and lenders willing to liberally provide short-term loans. Such organizations must exercise utmost vigilance Else, they could become victims of what I call as the credibility trap. This can happen because whenever an organization has access to more short-term resources due to its immense credibility than can be absorbed in short-term avenues, the excess will inevitably get used for long-term purposes. Such organizations then become guilty of violating the cardinal principle which says never use short-term funds to acquire long-term assets. In the first half of the fiscal year 2023-24, India's total vehicle retail sales have reached an impressive 1 crore 10 lakh 79,116 units marking an 8.84% year-on-year growth according to data from the Federation of Automobile Dealers Associations. The three-wheeler segment stood out with a remarkable 66% year-on-year growth, contributing significantly to these overall numbers. Additionally, the commercial vehicle segment grew by 3.25%, passenger vehicles by 6.919% and two-wheelers by 7% in the same period. This growth reflects a narrative of resilience and recovery in India's auto retail sector, with all categories showing significant year-on-year growth. The recent outbreak of war in Israel is causing apprehension among Turkish and Russian steel exporters. Turkey has been a significant steel supplier to Israel since 2002, but steel exports to Israel have dropped by 40% from January to August 2023, with Russia gaining the market share. The duration of the war will play a vital role in determining its impact on Turkey's steel market, which is already grappling with high production costs and shrinking demand. For Russia, the war may disrupt steel exports, especially long steel products, and create logistical challenges and rising freight rates due to the conflict. Before we go ahead, let's talk about QBI a world-leading manufacturer of precision multi-sensor metrology systems for industrial quality control. 50,000 passenger flights each day depend on reliable jet engine power, something millions of passengers take for granted. Behind that reliability is some of the world's most advanced manufacturing technology. Measurement systems from QVI are part of it. The precision QVI brings to aerospace component manufacturers helps make air transportation more routine. From ensuring that thousands of parts in a jet engine deliver power when it's needed, to making sure your seatbelt stays latched for takeoff. Plastic bottles help keep us going when we're on the run. And when we put the cap back on our water bottle, we know it won't spill. When it comes to thermal molded plastics, manufacturers rely on QVI precision for fast, accurate dimensional control of their molding process. For mold makers, that precision means fast, accurate thread and seal surface measurements. For the rest of us, precision means longer shelf life and fewer spills from bottled drinks. Safety, reliability, and fuel economy are factors we take for granted every time we drive, yet all depend on thousands of close tolerance parts assembled perfectly. 
Automotive manufacturers rely on precision measurements at dozens of points in the making of every part, from cylinder heads to drive shafts to anti-lock brakes. More often than not, they turn to QVI for flexible measuring systems that perform day in and day out, right on the shop floor. Just a few years ago, prosthetic joints were largely a dream. Today, they're a common way to renew mobility and extend active lives. When it comes to surgical implants and drug delivery systems, precision is everything. QVI's advanced multi-sensor technologies allow medical device manufacturers to measure critical dimensions more reliably than ever before. From a syringe that delivers the correct dose to a knee implant with a perfect fit. Precision improves the quality of care and life for patients every day. Smartphones and tablets are essential tools for staying connected, in business and for life. Sleek and durable designs let us take our devices with us anywhere. Portable devices are incredibly complex to build. QVI measurement systems deliver the precision needed to fabricate circuits, etch hard disk heads and fit touchscreen panels to the coolest phone cases. At the end of the day, QVI systems help make wireless mobile devices work on the go. Every great story has a beginning. Ours starts with people, the people who bring our precision to life and the people whose lives are improved because of it. With more than 400 dedicated employees offering local support to manufacturers in more than 75 countries, QVI and our partners deliver precision across the entire spectrum of industry, from global manufacturers to local job shops. Precision for people is more than something we say. It's what we stand for. The global pharmaceutical packaging equipment market is experiencing sustained growth and is projected to continue expanding from 2023 to 2032. This market analysis report offers comprehensive insights into key player strategies and emerging competition, aiming to provide unique solutions and strategies. It anticipates a remarkable CAGR of 5.8% by 2032 and provides a thorough examination of market trends, opportunities and drivers. Additionally, the report assesses leading companies, including their product portfolios, pricing strategies and operational expenses. This valuable resource is crucial for industry participants looking to stay updated on market developments and make informed decisions in the field. A recent report by the Council on Energy, Environment and Water, CEEW, reveals that India's steel and cement sectors will need a staggering 47 lakh crore rupees in additional capital expenditure to achieve net zero carbon emissions. Additionally, an annual operational expenditure of rupees 1 lakh crore will be required for these industries to go complete net zero. The report suggests that substantial emission reductions are possible through efficient technologies such as waste heat recovery, energy efficient controls and contribution to a 33% reduction in combined carbon emissions. However, carbon capture and storage CCUS will play a crucial role in decarbonizing the steel industry, potentially reducing emissions by up to 56% but CCUS technology is still in its early stages and requires scaling up. In today's fast-paced and ever-changing business environment, where innovation and technology are constantly emerging, it is essential for industries and businesses to remain up-to-date and adapt to the evolving landscape. Our objective is to assist you in staying ahead of the curve by providing you with the latest developments and trends. Join our community to remain informed and keep pace with the changes unfolding in your industry. That was it for this week's industrial updates. We will be back next week for more updates. Log on to www.pi-india.in. Thank you and have a nice day.